Hello, 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 hello! Whoa, I screwed up my intro. What I meant is to say, hey guys, I'm back with some Banner Saga. Exciting, right? I haven't played this game for months. I kind of got angry at the software I was using at the time, XSplit, and then I stopped doing YouTube. Last time I had this whole recording thing going. I recorded for 40, 40 minutes and it did not work out. Bloody software issues forced me to... Um, well, let's just say I got really angry and I absolutely stopped playing the Banner Saga, but now I'm back. Yes, I am. And the once energetic Mender approaches, looking both worn and troubled. I'm not sure I thanked you for the time to recover. I... I've never woven a spell that strong before. Are you sure you're ready to move on? You look... I know. I caught my reflection earlier. It's a more mature look. The mender grins and a hint of his former youth shines true. I like his beard. His beard is very majestic now. Not everyone would have stopped for so long. Especially with the ground rumbling like it has. Let's see, what shall we pick? We're all people in need of help here. We'll get there no matter how long it takes. Your floating bridge call... Uh, no, no guilt tripping, please. Uh, we'll, we'll get there no matter how long it takes. I'm glad you feel that way. But crumbling mountains and chasms might be a sign to move faster than slower. Oh! I thought since you could get us over chasms, you'd just knock falling mountains out of the way. He smiles again. Have you given any more thought to my offer? I think some mending could really benefit you. You consider his offer. Sure, it might really help someday. I'm pretty sure this will get me into trouble with some of the village people. Probably the village idiots, for one. I think so too, and you already know more than you think. I doubt it will take me long to teach you the basics, but you'll have to practice as we go. I'm placing some patterns on your bow. Trace them with your thumb at all times. Practice. Memorize them. Understanding will occur later. Great! This is getting me all excited. <laughs> hmm. We have a nice number of supplies. A scout runs up to you. There's a woman tied to a tree up ahead. Got four guards watching her. The strange news draws a good deal of attention from the caravan. The bound woman is ranting and spitting at the four guards when you arrive and ask. What's going on here? This is a witch, one guard says. Plaguing our clan, making everyone really sick. But we caught her and brought her way out here. The others not. She is to be tied here for five days without food or water. Then cut loose. Been three days so far. But she'll down her own after that long with nothing to eat or drink, you say. That's not a nurse, the guard responds. But if you want to set her free, we'd be bigger fools than to get in your way. How do you know she's a witch? Everyone looks at the woman who's grinning a toothless grin. She scratches at the tree bark and calls out the dead gods one by one. If that's not enough, the guard says. She was seen squeezing mistletoe berries into water to ruse. Think I heard that makes you sick? The other guards bob their heads in agreement. You consider what to do. I don't like it, but this... Ah, let's ask Urza. Urza smiles and saunters towards the tired woman. She says a few quiet words to the prisoner and looks her over before returning. My suggestion, she says, burn her and the tree to the ground. Well, let's leave her then. I trust in his ears more than in some rabid looking old woman tied to a tree. We don't like it either, but thanks for leaving us to it. As the caravan rolls by, the woman screams curses and hexes, leaving most feeling sorry for her, all scared. Let me guess, morale will decline, of course. Again. No matter, it's normal, that's good. Easy boy! A clansman shouts as a yoxcart nearly topples to one side. 
The tumbled part of the Eastway Road has steadily turned into a cracked shamble. Looking ahead, it only gets worse. Various chasms gape like open mouths. You glance back to Ivind, who looks at you and shakes his head. The entire caravan comes to a halt. Well, that doesn't look too good. Ah, Ivor. We'll be eating our belts before finding a way across this broken road. Especially with this many. And there's no telling how far we'd have to backtrack to head north. Then we'll head south across the Orms uh, riverbed. We can head towards Grundar and on west. Trigvi peers around Haken's elbow before coming fully into view. Heading south is questionable. There's people. Why do you say that? Maybe I spent a lifetime there. Plenty of things to eat under logs. But there's also people in the box. His eyes go white. The skulls should hear my rhyme. But what's wrong with heading south? Different ways of living. Old ways. Stick to the mud. And cracksmen are less bothersome. I think he's talking about the bogest, uh, rough, backward people of Swas book. Trigvi frowns at Ivor. Words like that can find you swollen, filled with poison. He puffs out his cheeks and stares at Ivor. This is why Val tend to keep to themselves. Each human is crazy in their own way. Trigvi hunches over with laughter until he suddenly stops, sniffs the air and marches away. Strange! But it's a fair warning. We are crossing over into lands most of us have never seen. Just because we left those dredge behind doesn't mean we won't have more wars ahead of us. If we had su more supplies, I say we should stop for a few days and train some of these clansmen to fight. You consider your options. Let's just camp. We need to keep the few remaining clansmen moving. Let's just camp. Yeah. Calls for camp spread down the line. Let's see then. We want to train clansmen into fighters, do we? Very well. Oh, the prince wishes us to speak. Let's see. The prince is acting even more standoffish than usual. You and I have caught him staring ahead and twisting the ring on his finger over and over. Urza quietly stands nearby. Glad to be heading home, Ludin turns to the two of you and offers a polite smile. Even after the chasm, would it surprise you if I said no? Oh, let's see, is there anything you actually like? It doesn't matter, that's where we're going. I thought you hated... I thought you hated being so far from Aberang. Life on the trail hasn't won me over. But it's not all bad. It's even possible that I've learned a few things about leading people while out here. You, Ivor and Urza are stunned to hear the prince talk this way. I've grown up in comfort and trained with scholars and fighters. I've never known anything else. Hm. Saying stuff like that won't make you any friends in this caravan. But that's just it. Among these clansmen, I've seen the differences. I think I understand them a bit more. That's great, Prince Ludin. I'm glad you think so. But I doubt my father will. Urza will agree, my father's not what you call open-minded. The king's a hard man. Has to be. But his son is his weakness. Ludin glares at her, but the archer only smirks. <laughs> um, the prince is the king's weakness. Don't listen to her. Watch your words, prince. Oh, sorry, wrong voice. Watch your words, prince. What? I wasn't telling you what to do. An awkward icy moment passes between the prince and his bodyguard. Menolf was fearful of sending Ludin away. 
so he sent his two advisors to watch him. You're one of King Mainolf's advisors? As he gives you a wry smile. Regardless of, regardless of who he sent to protect me, I had no say in the matter. Kings usually have to make tough decisions and stick with them. Maybe someday you'll see why. I know. I just don't think he'll care for my ideas and treating with pairs commoners. What would you like to be called? We're all people, Prince, even you. You have a charming way of humbling me. Urza rolls her eyes. Oh, is he flirting with me? He is, isn't he? Just keep an open mind about your father the way you'd like him to have toward your ideas. That's something I've never considered before. I'll think on it. As Prince Ludin and Urza walk away, you feel Ivor watching you. What? When did you become so full of sage advice? Since I started listening to you? God, don't start making that mistake. The two of you share a smile before you moving. You move on. Mm. Let's go to training now. Just wanting to swing at each other, or are you here to actually learn something that could save your life on the battlefield? Uh, train clansmen into fighters. The trainer looks past you at some boys and girls eager to learn. Teaching fighting to the young Sven muses, they won't go back to hunting and foraging for food, you know. Sure you want to go through with this? Yes. Let's see, a hundred new fighters. Fifty should be enough to give us an edge. I don't want a hundred because then I will have only two clansmen, and that is not the best. Aye, Sven says, and leave most of the others with their families, where they belong. He starts calling a few forward and turns to you. Got food for the day of training? Sure, start training. Consider it done, Sven whistles through his missing teeth. Alright, morale even got improved, we got a few fighters. Can we train a bit? I just want to spar. What can you show me? Plenty, try to keep up. So you know enough to not trip over your own weapon, but that's hardly impressive. So I'm going to learn to use a bow. Let's begin. Good. I love beginnings. Not as much as I love endings. Let's see, what's the point here? Damage two enemies at once with tread the needle. Alright, that shouldn't be too difficult, I imagine. The needle is a fairly easy ability. Let's just smack this scoundrel here around. Good job. And now I only need to position myself here and take the shot. You might as well do nothing, I don't need you. Alright, so Tread the Needle is one of my skills, and I think this will do nicely. Excellent! Good job, Alette. I mean, me. She is obviously me, isn't she? I mean, we both have this um, positivity towards life, and a rather ro roguishly charming behaviour, I would say. She's just the best. Now I have some more renown. Does he have anything else to teach me? Plenty. Try to keep up. You can handle yourself, but what about your other fighters? Ever used a vowel and an archer to trap somebody? Sure, I have not done that, but I would like to. What's not to like about it? Okay, so we've got Ivor and Oddleaf who is one of the most badass characters in this game. The Val, the Val are naturally badass, but what really counts for something with me is the humans, especially the women. I love badass women. It's just such a fantastic thing. And I also 
That's not to say I don't like uh, Vals who smack people around one-handed with axes. That's a classic. But of course I prefer the humans. Let's put a trap here, shall we? Oh, my mistake, my mistake. I should have done something different. I have to use battering ram in order to get an enemy into a trap. Okay, that changes things, but I will do it nonetheless. Right, so what I'm going to do now is move, first I'll move, come on, here, and then I will use Rain of Arrows here. My next course of action is to push this guy with my battering ram ability into this here Rain of Arrows. There, all done. Good strategy. Apologies for the beginning, I kind of forgot what I had to do. Or rather, I simply did not read. Great, 16 renown, that's a lot actually. Is there any more? <clears throat> Never seen a Mender with as much power as this Ivan, but after watching him a while, bet I can show you how to really benefit from that lightning of his. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, let's go. We begin again. Hmm. So what needs be done now? Arc lightning and chain of three or more enemies. Right, so this should be simple enough. I put him here and actually it's not quite as simple because if I recall it hits diagonally which means that I will need some strategy involved first. I need to get one of the warriors here and then these two. Yes, this might just work. Let's see. How will these folks move now? Still not ready. They're not properly set up yet. Closer. We are getting closer. Let's just push the Val out of the way because he's nasty and big and he can hit. Actually, I think I can just hit this one. Let's see. Will this work? One, two, three, four. Nice. Very nice. Oh, actually, five. Ha, excellent. That was very good. And another training mission successfully taken. I do enjoy these, especially how much renown they give you. Renown, as I have shown in previous videos and in my review, my rubbish review of the first banner saga, is how you level up your characters. So now I can finally promote a let, but maybe I shouldn't. That said, I should probably promote someone who is not as highly leveled up, but who needs it all the same. Yes, Mogger is a good guy, a strong guy in fact. I think we'll give him another point of this, this and... Sure, why not? I'm not going to promote him anymore. Now I think I can promote Oddleaf, because she's my favorite. Good, good job. Um, What do I do now? Do I give you... Oh, yes, yes, please. And also, I can as well give her the ability to exploit. Which is, in itself, a fantastic ability. Great. Very, very great. I am not taking any more of the stars, because I don't think I need them right now. Uh-oh. I think I had some more renown I could use. I don't... I shouldn't use all of it, though, because... Yeah, I'm going to upgrade Alette, just for the sake of her being an absolute badass. Let's see, what have I leveled up here? 
Bonus, crit chance. Yeah, I'll take another point in that. Whoa, that's actually very useful. I think I'll take a point of defy. Yes, that's the one. Ah. Sorry about that. Silly of me, very, very silly of me. Right, confirm, not cancel. And I'll leave those few points of renown for now. Actually, do I have any more? I don't think I do. Really? Oh, yeah, I don't have anything more. So I think it's time to go onward. Don't we? We don't need a rest. Yeah, let's just move on. Good job, everyone. I think that was a nice training regiment on the 31st day of our glorious journey. Now, let's see what happens. A metal clanking is heard in the distance and grows louder. You see a yox cart surrounded by four Val and an older woman hitting a lateral against a pan. All sorts of things for sale, she says, but her eyes go wide when she looks at you. It's you, special deals when it comes to you. How do you know me? Word travels fast. Think you can slay a sunder and keep it secret? She clicks... She clicks her tongue and shakes her head. Mother knows of you, sure enough. Why are you out here selling things? Mother sells things to those travelling, she says. It's what she does. Used to be as generous as Azele. Mother was, but that don't buy more supplies. Let me see what you've got. Of course, but make up your mind. Mother will be gone as quick as she arrived. And don't get any ideas of sneaking off with things. These four Varl have the keenest eyes, the sharpest blades, and the shortest tempers. You feel the Varl watching you every move. Let's see. One Renan gets me nothing much. Does that cost 18 Renan? Too bad, can't buy that. Those are all good items, but I can't buy them. Let's see. She will per kill. Against this here thing. And I would say that I am not going to buy an item. Should I take some supplies? Maybe for another two days, three days worth. Yeah. Just to be on the safe side, you know. And on we go. Oh, rains. The rains of Castamere, anyone? That's what came to mind, I don't know why. Once you cross the Orma riverbed, the wind ceases to cut through the humid air. The darkening sky lets loose its rain and soon fat drops of water turn the dirt part to sucky mud, slowing the caravan. Cloaks are pulled overhead and children and animals are wrangled near the carts. Oh god, it's going to be decision time very soon and I'm going to pick the wrong decision, I'm sure of it. Clansman Forage. Oh, that's good, I think. Hopefully. I was hoping to avoid visiting this part of the kingdom for at least a few more years, Prince Ludin says. At least others have had the sense to abandon this cesspool. As arrogant as he sounds, he's right. There are very few signs of life around you, yet you still feel like you're being watched. The lowing of the usually quiet vox indicates the beast's difficulty pulling the cart. You're up to your knees in it when a scout comes to you. Found some stone markers that led us to a few parts of solid ground over there. He points while shouting over the yoks, and even in bumpy but easier than this. Stone markers? Yeah, the man says. Don't look natural, don't look like much of anything else either. Just some stones marking a path through this place is all I can figure. You would ask Trigvi, but he's nowhere around, probably out gathering mushrooms. No. Could be more trouble than it's worth. We'll push on. The man looks surprised, but frills it off. The rain continues and the caravan struggles to keep moving. I don't trust in marked, stony, uneven terrain. It sounds like a graveyard. Someone's son is missing, Ivor says. 
motioning to a crowd shouting a boy's name. A man with bleary eyes looks at you and says, He's my only son. He treats his white goat like his best friend. It must have wandered off and he's out there looking for it. The man looks across the rainy bog. I've got to find my boy. Wait here. Ivor and I will find him. I will remember to send someone else to you with bad news from now on. Ivor says as the two of you slop through the mud. After a while you see the boy in the distance. He's pulling on a rope leash around the goat's neck. The goat is up to his shoulders in mud. Come on, boy! What's wrong? You hear the child ask the goat. You are sinking! Come on! You have to try! You cannot move any faster to help, and soon only a goat's head is visible. The boy shouts again. You're my friend! You stupid goat! You're going to die! Tears roll down the boy's face as he sinks up to his neck in the mud. You're ahead of Ivor, but already waist deep in a few yards away. Ivor is up to his knees. Ivor! Can you reach them? Just before the goat and boy vanish beneath the surface, Ivor leaps towards the two, creating a huge wave of mud that splashes you. When you clear your face enough to see again, Ivor is there with the goat under his arm and the boy clinging to the giant's neck. <laughs> the child thanks Ivor many times on the way back to the caravan, calling him a lakval. Ivor spits mud and curses. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually very happy that this went well for once. I fully expected to that the boy would drown in the mud, which was would be horrible for morale. The clansmen and Val follow you through the worst rain and mud you've experienced. An unfortunate break in slogging through the muck comes from a woman shouting, Get away from there! Who are you? A couple of cragsmen, locals in rough spun clothing that almost blends into the bog, jump back from a supply cart and brandish weapons. The roar of bears and other cragsmen come from around you. Bears? They've got bears? I ain't saying that's a problem, but that's a problem. Right, so I think we are going to need a few faithful Val. Can I promote you, my dear boy? Yeah, I cannot. Good thing that we uh, will do battle now then. Ah, so many people to promote, so little renown. Let's see, let's see. Could we use another Val, do you think? Or rather, let's... yes. We'll just go with those. I think that could be most useful. Team. Do any of you guys have items? Um, You should have an item, I think. What does that do? Bjorulf's Blessing. Knock back on strength attacks of tree. Plus one strength. Don't suppose I have anything to defend. Yeah, that's so good. I can't wait to give it to a let. All right. All right, all right, all right. I think we can move on now. And go for the throats of the Cragsmen and their bears. Of which I'm still very horrified, by the way. Oh, no bears! What a lovely piece of news. Right, so I think that I could use the Val here and here. My Mender is going to stay back and meanwhile... Oh! Well, that's... that's dreadful. Not only dreadful, it's in fact absolute... absolute awfulness. But, no worries, I think I'm just going to kill you here, crazy crag woman. Whoa! You stabbed me, man! What the hell is wrong with you? Let's see then. Or rather, let's do this. Ho ho! I love it already! Ivor. Ivor is really not my best warrior right now. My first play of the Banner Saga, Ivor was the, the man. He was the MVP. There was no one who could hit quite as well as he could. Oh, uh, huh. all right. 
Let's break his shields and then just kill him with... What was his name? Gunnulf. Yes, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> move. Let's move and let's do the arc lightning spell. Uh oh. Hmm. I think this did a lot more damage to me than it should have. Oh hey. That's... That happens, right? Right? Oh god. I, I screwed that up in a very major way. Sorry. Oh no! What will we do now? Probably kill them all. I mean, that's what I usually do in situations like this. Good. That's that's one way to go about killing them all. Hmm. This mud. I don't like it. This poor man. Look at him. Look at what he did. An absolute monster. An absolute monster of a man. That's what he is. Oh, thank you, NVIDIA, for letting me know that I've got... Uh, game ready driver available. That is so nice of you and also so so annoying. Slug and burn. What did this do? Trap an area laying down calls which do one strength damage. Uh, no. Instead let's concentrate on shields again. This guy is going to die easily. This guy as well. Uh oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh. I think I know what's going to happen now. Can you guess? Can you guess? I think you can. No, not, not this. This, this, and this now. See? They all suffer for their lack of strength. And that's what matters to me. That they suffer. Let's see. Oh! I expected that. Damn you. Damn you for killing my darling, darling woman. No matter. It is the end for you, folks. I got a nice amount of renown from this. As nice as anything, I suppose. Uh, let's end turn and... Oops. I, I have forgotten how to go about doing this bit here. This whole battle thing didn't go quite as well as it should have. Injured in battle. Jesus, so many injured in battle. This has been a bad day. I'm going to need to take a few days of rest now. But what can you do? These people are some of our heroes are injured. This flame welcomes endless war, but why? I would like to know that as well. Have you more to say? With that awesome accent which I cannot replicate. Even now the petrified flame sword of our Val allies. No, oh, just look at it! Seriously, I I just can't think of many 2D games which can in any way step on the little finger of this... the sheer beauty of the Banner Saga. Placed upside down in the ground, the petrified roots of a giant tree reach towards the sky. All the Val, including Ivor and Hakan, have separated from the caravan temporarily, giving Baldringer's godstone a wide berth. The giant's presence is missed as you continue to feel watched. Alio, what do you know about Baldringer? Not much, but enough, the scout says. These flames symbolize Baldringer's love of fire and war, the first being a mains to the second. When the Varl were dominating humans in the first great conflict, it was Baldringer 
who gave the losing side fire to combat the giants. You hold up your hand to hold the storyteller, listening through the rain for anything that might be following you. Hearing nothing, Ali resumes, holding the gaze of his audience. Humans praise Baldringer for the gift of fire, but the god only desired more war. He points towards the distant shapes of the Val. When the giants and the humans found peace, this godstone fell from grace. It looks to continue keeping the land scorched. Perhaps its shadow can still kill. Grab some fighters and patrol the area. You and a few others slink away from the mass of clansmen and soon come upon unsuspecting cragsmen waiting to ambush your caravan. There is no time to consider your options. Alright, alright, alright! Let's upgrade someone who's not injured. I really don't have that many good fighters who are very, very good at what they do, are they? Anyway, let's keep this guy's ability to break shields and his defenses up. Can we give him something, anything? No. Alright, um, so we put him first. We're going to take Leo as well. And Hogan. Do we need Ludin? Should we... Two strength. Ivint, we don't need strength. Oddleaf. Yeah, I think we can remove Oddleaf and restructure our characters. That's a, f a good enough order of... Combat readiness, let's say. And let's see what happens now. Alright, that is not great by any stretch of the imagination. These two, can these two handle this one? Uh oh, whoops. I think we will pull you two here and protect Ivan who I hope we'll be able to do some major damage. Hopefully it will go through the armor of these folks. Good, I can break a lot of shield. A lot of this guy's sh shield anyway. And now we're all about bloody flailing this guy around. Good, that did a reasonable amount of damage. Let's see where these guys will be going. I think this... Actually, I'm a spearman, correct? Ah, damn. I can attack this way, but not that. Sure, let's take her armor and... Wound her with a let. Or just kill her. Because I have all the most awesome items. Fantastic. And that crit strike too. Things are looking up uh, a let. Is that something that's going to turn into a saying? I don't think so. But hey. I will remain a fan of it. Let's see, my lightning do some damage. Good. Very good. Oh, I... Ouch. That is unpleasant, to say the least. Let's go here. He has four willpower. Tell worth telling. What does that do? Oh, that's, that's useful. But I don't need it right now. What I need is to take some more of this armor off. And that's what I did. Let's move here. And now I think time for a very, very strong stab in the back. Because Axemen do that, you know. Stabbing people in the back. Let's see, how can I hit these two guys. 
Right. Breaking the shields it is. These two actually have very, very unpleasant big shields. Fortunately, some of them also die, and I managed to get some renown and some willpower. So this is looking good. Oh, this is very, very useful. Let's see how much damage I can do. Fantastic. I absolutely needed that. You poor man, poor, poor wizard man. What can you do? Can you mend someone? Maybe him. Just didn't do anything, did it? I kind of forgot that mending works in a very peculiar way. You need to have willpower in your reserves to actually get more of it. So what I did right there, giving willpower to the spell, it actually screwed me over. And badly too. No matter. I'm sure I will find a solution soon enough. A solution to end those cragsmen's lives. I mean... Let's see, let's see. Mm, I think that would be not, not the most optimal thing to do. And let's do the bloody fail, flail thing. Yeah, I'd say this did a bit more damage than I could have hoped for. Huh. Well, you are screwed, mate. Goodbye. Oh no. I mean, this is really not. Whoa. He got the angelic wings again. It's a very interesting thing. I mean, there are some some sort of Mende magic, obviously, but I don't really know much about Mende magic. The games, neither the first nor the second, really haven't given too much on that subject. We know that there are there is a council of Mendes, and that they have. Whoa! Ouch! That is hurtful and unnecessary. Okay, so I should probably concentrate on you, love. And the rest are going to die soon enough. Oi! Again, hurtful. Let's see. You are going down. Hey! That was awesome. That was cool. I got five renown just for killing. That was probably just because I got the achievement. What's the achievement anyway? Defeat three enemies with a poet. Cool. Well, thank you very much. I really, really liked getting the achievement. Let's use this and just end the enemy already. I have had enough of toying with them. Oh, goodbye. Pillage. Time, time to pillage the enemy. Time to end him. Time to send him to his grave. Oh, the songs that I think of when I play the Banner Saga. They're the most wonderful, most musical thing in the world. Fantastic. I love the achievements. Ludin, the prince, has been injured in battle, and Ivan has been even more injured in battle. Hopefully I get enough renown to feel like it was worth getting injured again. Having killed or run off the cracksmen, you return to the remaining clansmen at the godstone. Grabbing your belongings, your foot hits something in the mud. You reach down and find a small skull with a yellow ribbon through the eyes. You toss it in a bag without another thought. Oh! Awesome! I got an item! And renown! And I should probably... Camp. Maybe save the game. Was there a save feature in this game, even? 
No, there was not. When was the last time? Day 34. Oh, so the last time was now, in fact. I would say that I have actually played quite enough of the game for now. And so I... I think I'm going to be going... Ah... <sighs> I'm going to wrap this up. Yes, that's what I meant. Sorry, someone was writing on Messenger to me. Huh. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you next time. This has been a lot of fun. I can't wait to finish the chapter. Bye now.